Hi, it's Gail and um, I'm here again today not to make a card but to make these lovely little rosettes which you can attach to a card. Um, I have one here which is made on the, the twisted card fold and this one is a rosette with a flower and a little diamante. Um, and I have one which I made yesterday, which is for a Christmas sort of card. And this is for the, the twisted fold again, with the rosette on and the little snowflakes. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these little rosettes. So what you need is you need a strip of paper, just normal paper. I'm using coloured paper today and you need it to be about three centimeters in width and this is just an, an A4 piece of paper so I've just cut off the three centimeters width and then what I've done I have a scoreboard uh, which makes it slightly easier and I've just sort of scored down the, um, the paper which each score is about half an inch in width so you can you can see on there that I've sort of scored you have to be careful because paper's quite um, thin we're not working with card we, we're, we're working with paper and if you score it too hard it goes through and it rips it so once you've scored it what you're going to do then is you're going to fold it backwards and forwards like a fan so we'll just cut that bit off the end there because it's not um, the same width. We'll just make that the same width. And you're going to fold it backwards and forwards to create a nice fan. So we're just folding it backwards and forwards and you'll create, can you see, it's like V's. It's like a concertina. And you're going to do that all the way down the card until you get to the very end and you should end up with something like this so it's a concertina piece of paper looks like one of those is it a harpsichord where they used to sit and play there used to be a man that used to play in i think it was nelson center where i used to live and uh, that's a long time ago and um, yeah, you don't see many of those. Anyway, so we make it, we've made a concertina. Now what we want to do is we want to bring each end around. So we're going to create a circle. So how we're going to fasten it is, you'll see you've got two ends there. I'm going to put a bit of double-sided tape just along this end here. So we'll just stick some double-sided tape onto this end. like so and peel it off Fold that back a bit. and then we're going to bring the end round and we're going to stick it over the top there so it makes a nice clean seam then what we're going to do is we're going to so you've got like a, a skirt now now we're going to push it down so that it comes out and creates a fan like that so you should have a circle like a fan then this is where you need a glue gun or a blob of glue I have my glue gun at the ready Put my blob of glue in the middle, like so, and then just hold it together. It doesn't take very long to dry, but you need to hold it together, otherwise it'll all spring out again once the glue starts to take hold. Should be still a little bit tacky, should the glue, so you'll be able to just fasten 
one of the um, the snowflakes on and it's quite stringy is this glue it's like spiders webs when it gets going um, and then stick the other one on that's a red one and then we're going to stick um, a little gem so I'm going to use a clear gem like a diamante and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of there because even though they're supposed to be self-adhesive they, uh, they do tend to fall off because the adhesive is not very strong once all the the um, the glue's dry all the stringy bits you can just sort of pull off any excess glue and there you have a lovely little rosette which you can attach to a card and they're absolutely lovely so there you go it's a lovely addition to any card it's a little paper rosette I shall put all the details on my YouTube channel of what you did today and thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Bye.